Hi guys, for this video, we are going to be unboxing the Rode PSA1 Studio Boom Arm. So, let's go! The Rode PSA1 Studio Boom Arm is a two-section spring-loaded broadcast microphone arm designed for quiet and flexible microphone positioning in broadcast radio studios, voiceover studios, and etc. The PSA1 rotates 360 degrees and features a maximum reach of 32 inches or 820 millimeters horizontally. Let's take it out of the box and let's see what we have. In the box, you'll have the Rode PSA1 Studio Boom Arm, a 3/8 inch adapter, touch fastener straps, the Velcro strips, desk clamp attachment, and a desk insert hardware. You can mount this in discs up to 55 millimeter thick if you use the clamp or 70 millimeter thick if you use the disc insert hardware. It can hold up to 1.1 kilograms or 2.4 pounds. Currently it's priced from $175 up to 200 New Zealand dollars. Ah, oh, this is the boom itself. So nothing no no empty okay, so all right right off the bat so right off the bat when we order uh, right out of the box this is what we'll get Where's this one? Okay. okay so this is the boom arm itself and then we get two desk mounting options. First one would be this, wherein you'll drill a hole on the table and then put this in. That would be like if you don't plan on moving the boom arm itself. If you just plan on leaving that there like for your entire life, then I think this would be the way to go. Or you could use the most commonly used or the more commonly used one which is the clamp. I will take this away. Take this off. Okay, so look at the quality on that one. This is not the nicest finish on the back, but the logo looks super nice. And then. And then the bolt. I don't know, we'll see what we'll make use of it later. This thing out of its bubble wrap. This is the other type of mount. It's sturdy, looks like good quality build. And then so this one. Alright, and one basic rule of thumb is you don't throw away your bubble wrap unless you've popped all of it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Boom. Quite heavy, but good weight. Be good quality. The Velcro tags right here, here, here. So be careful, um, so just one thing to note is be careful when you cut this out because it, it might just you know, pop open. we go so that's the max that it can open so I guess this is the the end of the unboxing now we'll go and set it up on my table all right so the way that I want to set up my boom arm is that 
um, it's easy enough for me to pull when I'm just recording vocals on or like in front of my laptop. At the same time, I can just turn it around and pull it easy when I'm playing the keys and singing at the same time. So I'll start with a clamp. I'll use the clamp here. I won't drill a hole on my table. So we can just put it right here on the edge. So the next bit will be you can just put this edge right here and place it on here. We've got ourselves the, uh, we've set up the boom arm just like that. That's like two steps. Um, and then we'll go ahead and set up and put my AT2035. And then we'll see how, how it goes. If Because I asked the store before I bought the PSA one. And then they advised it should go well with most default, even AT or Audio Technica mics. So we'll see how it goes with here. I have a shock mount. I'll just grab it shortly. And then we'll see if it goes well. Alright, so I've got my, um, my own microphone stand. Um, this is pretty low quality. I don't... It just fumbles when you put it in an angle when you use the boom on this one. That's why I bought the, the PSA one. So now we'll take off the pop filter and then we'll set it up for later as well as the shock mount. And then you can just install it here. So you place your shock mount, adjust it to your preferred angle, and then put the microphone in. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And then we'll put the pop filter. I think it should work here, I'm not too sure. But we'll see. plug in the cable and test it out so mine's an XLR cable and um, I'm just plugging them in and setting it up on my audio interface and these velcros help in the cable management side of things just so that it looks cleaner and if I just plug that in straight away so I just have the whole thing standing but if you get annoyed looking at that you can still make use of the velcro All right, so we'll run that through I'll take off these velcros and we also have this bit where you could place the cable. We'll see if it fits on my one because my ones are pretty thick. Thick cable. So if we just shoot that right there, I think that's okay. Uh, let's... And there you go. Looks cleaner. And the cable's not really messing with me now. If you put it back, you pull it down, you adjust your mic here. And then we can start recording. So that makes it easy for me to just place it whilst I'm playing. At the same time, I just turn this way, move the boom mic, boom mic that way. Let me just rotate the mic and rotate the pop filter. There we go. Ta-da! And I can adjust that to your liking. So I would say it's pretty smooth. I would say that road definitely thought about the entire product design 
on how they want to achieve things and how the customer or how the user experience would be so i would say this is a pretty good deal we'll also test like if we can hear like the spring or something i think that's what i've heard so we'll connect this bad boy all right so right now we're testing this out how the audio is and we'll move this around see if it can detect like the spring motion of the of the boom arm um so right now you hear me on the normal camera mic okay all right so you should hear me on this side now and we'll move this around and we'll see so i'll, I'll try to listen to it on the playback later and then we'll see if we can hear like the motion when we move this around but um for people i don't think it's gonna be quite common for you to move this around while you're actually recording so i think that should be okay all right so that's it for now um let me know if you want any more testing done on this boom arm and um, i'll try to make it maybe and yeah, that's it thanks for watching everyone and see you guys next time bye